Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today guys, I'm going to be playing Criminality and showing you the best grinding way, in my opinion. Obviously, this will be using all the new mechanics and everything, and also the new free version of Criminality, since it is now free. So, first you're going to want to go to your player list once you join the game in casual servers. You're going to have to scroll down and see like a 6 to 9 player server. I would recommend like a 6 player server like just just in general because that means that there's not going to be that many people here. So, if you actually have to fight people, it'll be very few and you won't run into many people while in the game. Alrighty, now that we're in the game, as you guys can see, my avatar is randomized and I have a random name tag. And this all just helps you not get targeted or make enemies while you're grinding or accidentally killing people. Even if it's teammates, they won't know it's you at that point. And the way to enable this, if you didn't already know, it's in the settings tab. On the left, you may have to open the sidebar, but once you open it, you can click the settings button. And then there's a random avatar button and a random name tag button. And you can just click on for these if they're already off. If they're both off, you just click on for both of them. So now you're in a random avatar. If you didn't have that before, you're going to have to reset, like, so that you get your random avatar, because you don't just automatically get it by turning on the switch. But, yes, this will really help in grinding. I would recommend going to, like, some piles if you find some, and just getting some basic protective weapons so you can protect yourself. If you get a crowbar like I just did, it is very, very, very useful in terms of being able to open safe since crowbar can be used unlimited times until you die as long as you have stamina for it to open safes and as you can see we're already at motel so uh yeah let's just go get some of the safes inside there sadly motel is looted um at least we have a cash register right here so we can at least get a little bit of cash i wouldn't store your cash all the time maybe only when you have like 2k on you at a time usually and if you go to tower obviously you'll have more than that at a time but still it's recommended about that much. And if you get a gun, you would want to have that along with your crowbar, since crowbar can be used as a melee, and a gun is always useful. Shotgun, in this case, is very useful in close range. Let's break in here, and as you can see, it's also robbed. Um, the server's kind of looted dry, so once you realize that a server has been looted dry, then you can just wait till your combat log goes away, and then try rejoining, basically. So... Now that it's gone, I can click leave. You may have to go through multiple servers because obviously people will go to lower servers just for the cash in casual and it's accessible to anyone. So if you want a more risky option, go to standard, but most people there will be looking to kill people. We're currently at the thrift store. So uh, yeah, once you get up here, you can actually go inside here if you didn't know. Um, you can go through here in the wall, but you're gonna have to go fall down, a, I guess, a single level or so. There we go. Now I can actually go in. And it's right here, and it's obviously locked, so what do we do here? Well, we break down the door, because there's nothing else you can do. And now, um, the alarm has went off. No one can get in other than that door, so, which is nice. And usually there's some nice cash registers here, since no one usually robs this place. There is a safe in the back, and we will get that, but uh, yeah, most people don't really know about Thrift Store, so it's very useful. It's right near Armory 1, and this is a really nice place just to get some easy cash, and I just like to go here if I spawn near here. Not that much usually, because I don't spawn here usually, but it is very, very nice if you do spawn here. Always check your back a little bit, make sure you're not being followed, and then you get your safes. Alrighty, this is the last one, and bam, there we go. And now we can get all the money in the safe, and now we've actually earned about 2000 so at this point, I would actually store my money usually, so I'm gonna go store that. You do not have to, it's just if you want to keep your money. Of course, if you're in a casual server, you won't lose that much money if you die, but it is just likely recommended by me. Since there's already a ATM right here, you can just literally just go to it, store your money, and then hop servers if you want to. Obviously, there's not anyone else except this one person in the server, so we won't have to really worry about anything except that one person. Obviously, lower servers, the better. Um, it just depends. Some low, low servers don't really have that much stuff because actual people go to them because they're so low. That's why I usually like to go to six-player servers or so, is because at that point, you know that most people haven't like been 
like grinding or they've already looted the safes and just want to be in a smaller server. If I zoom through the wall, if you use the control glitch, all you have to do is click escape, go to settings, and then turn on shift lock switch, which allows you to basically see through the walls when you press control. So as I showed already, if I walk up to the wall and I'm facing sideways like this and press control, you can see through the wall. Obviously, if you do it like this, you can also turn and see through the wall. It's just a camera glitch. And this is totally legal in criminality. There is nothing wrong with this, and people use it all the time to check if safes are there or not. It just saves you time and basically helps you to know if breaking into some place and using stamina is actually worth the stamina. And since it's built into the game and the developers allow it, then obviously it's okay to use. So, yeah, pretty nice feature. Most people don't know about that. It's just a little tip, a little tip and trick I've learned from grinding for a while. But uh, yeah, there we go. One last one. Three, two, one. Bam. There we go. We got some more money here. And obviously, I'm just going to continue grinding in the subway. So I'll meet you back when I'm done. That was the last safe, and of course, if you really want to, you can get more safes down in Vibe Check. There is three big safes down there, but yes, of course, it is risky, and you may die going down there if people are camping. So uh, yeah, I would recommend not going down there unless you have someone to pull you up, because otherwise you will be stuck down in Vibe Check. Alrighty, now that I'm away from Subway, I've come up here, I've went through here, and I've climbed up the stairs. There are safes in here that you can actually loot at factory. Once I jump off a factory and can go to this ATM to store my cash, I will go to the next place, which is right here, and this is actually called Workshop. And Workshop also has a safe and a cash register. As you can see, the cash register is right here, and it is basically in the front and easily accessible. So you can just smash that and grab some cash. And the safe is right here. Another place with some registers is pizza, illegal pizza, right here. It is the big red building right here, as you guys can see. And uh, yeah, once I go inside, it's obviously going to be locked. I can now break down the door. And it will set off the alarm and make everyone know that you are robbing illegal pizza. As you can already hear, the sirens have already went off. So, people have been alerted of my robbery. But, there's not that many people here in the server to try and stop me, so I should be fine. Here's some cash. This is the only place in Illegal Pizza that there are registers. There's sometimes there's piles up above. If you climb up the ladder right there, you can actually get up there. But, I'm not going to go waste my time with that. I'm going to keep the money on me out, because over here, there's another ladder. And you can actually go up it to another cash rating spot. This is a bigger safe, so it'll give you more money than smaller safes, which is nice. And obviously, you have the beautiful cash register. So you can get this, and it'll give you the three slots of money, which is small increments of some money. And then also go back to here and break this open. This is just a little bit of a tip. If you're near pizza, always come up here and check. Check for anything, basically, and check to see if there's money you should get. I really hope you guys did enjoy my video on how to grind cash and criminality for 2022, and I really hope it helped you. So, have a good one, guys, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, boys. See you all next time.